Let's say that y is equal to log base 4 of x squared plus x. What is the derivative of y with respect to x going to be equal to? Now you might recognize immediately that this is a composite function. We're taking the log base 4 not just of x, but we're taking that of another expression that involves x. So we could say, we could say this thing in blue, that's u of x. Let me do that in blue. So this thing in blue, that is u of x. u of x is equal to x squared plus x. And it's going to be useful later on to know what u prime of x is. So that's going to be, just going to use the power rule here. So 2x plus 1, brought that, brought that 2 out front and decremented the exponent. Derivative with respect to x of x is, is 1. And we could say the log base 4 of this stuff, well, we could call that a function v. We could say v of, well, if we said v of x, this would be log base 4 of x. And then we've shown in other videos that v prime of x is going to be very similar that if this was log base e or natural log, except we're going to scale it. So it's going to be 1 over, 1 over log base 4, oh, sorry, 1 over the natural log, the natural log of 4 times x. If this was v of x, if, this, if v of x was just natural log of x, our derivative would be 1 over x. But since it's log base 4, and this comes straight out of the change of base formulas that you might have seen. And there, we have a video where we show this, but we just scale it in the denominator with this natural log of 4. Or you could think of scaling the whole expression by 1 over the natural log of 4. But we can now use this information because y, this y can be viewed as v of, v of, Remember, v is the log base 4 of something. But it's not v of x. We don't have just an x here. We have the whole expression that defines u of x. We have u of x right there. And let me draw a little line here so that we don't get those two sides confused. And so we know from the chain rule, the derivative of y with respect to x, this is going to be, this is going to be the derivative of v with respect to u. Or we could call that v prime, v prime of u of x, v prime of u of x. Let me do the u of x in blue. v prime of u of x times u prime of x. Well, what is v prime of u of x? We know what v prime of x is. If we want to do v prime of u of x, we would just replace wherever we see an x with the u of x. So this is going to be equal to v prime of u of, uh, u of x, and you just view this. You're taking the derivative of the green function with respect to the blue function. So it's going to be 1 over the natural log of 4, natural log of 4, times, instead of putting an x there, it would be times u of x, times u of x. And then of course, that whole thing times u prime of x. And so, and I'm doing more steps, just hopefully so it's clearer what I'm doing here. So this is 1 over the natural log of 4. u of x is x squared plus x. So x squared plus x. And then we're going to multiply that times u prime of x. So times 2x plus 1. And so we can just rewrite this as 2x plus 1 over, 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 the natural log of 4, natural log of 4, times x squared plus x, times x squared plus x. And we're done. And we could distribute this natural log of 4 if we found that interesting. But we have just found the derivative of y with respect to x.